Yupa Vistabo, Westbridge Christmas, episode 20, Up Pub by Kailana. Siege Mode. Episode thoughts, so spoilers for these first 20 episodes. Another episode I love, the way we'll be discussing the offensive elements. And yeah, let's dive right in. So yeah, um, Danny suggests, oh, so I guess we're going to be like flinging bricks. And Stuart is like, ah, you can't do that. He's just going to get kicked out of the Royal Theater. Just the image of Stuart, like, throwing a brick in there. Just, wow. Yeah, that's... And, yeah, goes down to the, the Muslims and... So the joke... The joke about, yeah, Stewart says that he went, you know, to, he accidentally went to the bathroom inside a mosque thinking that it was a lavatory. And, yeah, the thing is, in Danish, the the pronunciation of mosque sounds like our pronunciation that that many Muslim immigrants have sounds like a, the Danish pronunciation of the word maybe so yeah he's like is that a lavatory maybe I took a chance Just so offensive and yeah Stuart goes off on some tangents I feel like this episode is like thirty percent him going on tangents that's probably overdoing it but this was a short episode too like and and not very much actually happened like it was just you know last episode they decided they're gonna fight the power this episode they got some weapons for that that's yeah and the let's see yeah the the they ask you know do you have anything we could used to fight, and it's only when they mention that they're fighting the system that they get anywhere, and, you know, yeah, uh, have some, some partisan scarves, have some partisan nails. Oh, we also have, what's it called in Danish? And smash cut, and they're just, like, they are equipped. Like, holy crap, they go, you know, love me a good smash cut gag. And... Yeah, it's very clearly Igor on the other side of, of the door. Considering that they don't check, they, they frequently don't check who's at the door, it is lucky that this wasn't, like, Anna or Randy or something. But, yeah. Um, I love the slow count and that he starts over, you know, he's, like, picks and, and the thing goes off. You know, the, the little thing flips off at ten. Nine. And, and Stu's like, Danny, Danny, no. Ten. Because, <laughs> you know, that's... It, it's one of those grenades. I'm pretty sure it's like three seconds. You know, you're supposed to count to two or three, depending on exactly how far you're, you're throwing it. And just, yeah. And and eventually, you know, Stuart can, compels him to, to just throw it. And, you know, yeah, the, the speaker reflects on the situation, and then he says what might be my least favorite line of the speaker in the entire 24-episode run. How much can Igor survive, anyway? Why did you tell us Igor survived that? What, what possible re Like, everyone watching, until the speaker said that, assumed, I guess, Igor is gone. It would have been so much... Like, now you know that he's still alive. When he reappears later, it would have been so much funnier if the speaker hadn't given it away. Like, it's one of those things, I, I guess that they were, you know, as they were writing it, they they forgot that they know more than the audience knows, which is crucial to, you know, there there maybe there are some good stories written where the author doesn't know any more than the audience does, but usually you'll want the writer to have at least a little bit of an upper hand all, as, as far as, you know, knowledge about the story and the world goes. But, but yeah. Um, but, yeah, still, very, very fun episode, and, 
yeah, just the fact that, like, in a fairly short amount of time, we've gone from, you know, they've, them trying to solve their financial problems by making money, however, you know, not necessarily the most legal of ways, to now they're just gonna, yeah, it's, it's a siege.